Jeffrey looks back at his pudgy, unshaven, feminine face in his greasy mirror. Is that really me? He's barely able to believe how he looks. If only Jeffrey followed the advice in this video, he would be able to instantly improve his attractiveness. But instead of paying attention to this video, Jeffrey goes straight to the comments and he looks at the suggested videos. Jeffrey! Focus. You need this. Adonis. Adonis looks in the mirror aside Jeffrey. He grooms his masculine face with a chiseled jawline. He looks like a different species of animal next to Jeffrey. But he didn't always look like this. There was once a time when young Adonis wasn't even attractive at all. He used to cope and say that he didn't care about how he looked. But as time went on and Adonis got older and more mature, he realized that it was okay to take pride in his appearance. He wanted to look professional. Have you started watching these kinds of videos just because you want to look better? Mainly because you just want to attract girls. Most guys won't ever have the confidence to admit this. I may be one of the first people who look at you and hold their hands up and say, yes, when I was 17, 18, bro, I was horny as and I wasn't getting any matches on Tinder. So guess what I did? I went on my own journey to improve my looks because it became apparent to me that how you look is greatly going to determine how many girls are into you. And today I'm going to give you three hacks that you can use instantly. Like this isn't some long-term thing like, oh yeah, go to the gym and girls will lose weight. These are things that you could literally do before school or work or going out to a social event today. And I'm going to make a promise to you. If you do all three of these, especially the last one, you will go up at least one point out of 10. That means that if you're currently a five out of 10, you'll go to a six out of 10. And you might be thinking, well, you know that, okay, that's kind of nice, but that's not so huge, is it? But you must understand that a lot of guys don't actually know this, but guys who have experienced a good dating life know this. Getting girls is always exponential based on your improvements. So going from a five to a six, you'll think like, oh yeah, maybe I'll get like 10% more. No, no, no. Every point that you go up from one to 10 will 10 times the amount of attraction that you get from girls. So of course, you know, a one out of 10 guy gets no attraction from girls. And so when he becomes a two out of 10, 10 times zero is still kind of zero. But then they become a point when you know you're somewhat of an average guy between four or five or six out of ten and i know the rating scale is kind of like autistic oh out of ten but like it's a good way for us to understand what we're talking about if you're like let's say an average guy you're a five out of ten maybe there's one girl who shows you like a pretty good level of interest per year isn't there maybe yeah well if you become a six out of ten suddenly for that year that you are a six there'll be ten girls who show you an interest the world's men honestly about 90 percent of men would be happy with that 90 percent of men would be totally happily and fulfilled with ten girls i'm not saying you know the ten girls date you or marry you or sleep with you or anything but at least they're actually actively like texting you back and meeting you for a date which a lot of guys would be happy for but imagine if you go then from a six to a seven and the 10 times rule still applies you are 10 girls who are showing you interest really replying back really engaging with you really going on dates with you when you were a six it's up to a hundred when you're a seven it's up to a thousand when you're an eight it's up to ten thousand like literally i know this seems silly and a lot of guys wouldn't believe this because a lot of guys overly rate themselves you might be thinking yeah but i'm already a seven and i don't get like a, a thousand girls into probably not a seven, bro. I used to think when I was, what would I rate myself when I was in second year of uni? So this was like my fuckboy days. Probably like a 6.5 if you include a six pack and stuff. Yeah, probably about 6.5. And I think most people maybe would agree that, you know, somewhere around the six to seven range when I look like that, right? I was six foot one. And the thing is, the amount of attraction that I got then when I looked like that, there was a point where I couldn't even believe it. But rewind a year. And, you know, I had slightly less muscle, probably maybe slightly higher body fat, maybe, you know, like worse clothes and everything. So my first year of uni. And it was like night and day. And and rewind another year and it was just such a total difference. You must understand that this is all exponential. We're gonna go over the three ways to instantly improve your looks. Make sure you don't skip around. You will probably benefit from all three. The first way is to improve your hair. And yeah, it sounds kind of funny coming from a guy who doesn't really have much right now, but I've just trimmed it all off. There was a time when I was honestly all the way through high school, 15, 16, 17, and I had no clue at all how some guys had really attractive, like good looking hair and why mine didn't look so good. Like all of my hair in like high school, it was just like not styled. I didn't understand like, you know what, how this even worked, like how to even have have attractive hair. No one, you know, you don't get a class in it in school. Maybe you've never sat down to like, you know, type how to have attractive hair. Like I needed a beginner's tutorial. So I'm gonna give this to you right now. If you have very short hair like mine, obviously there's, there's obviously not much you can do right now. I'm growing mine a little bit longer. But if you've got a bit more like length, the way to make your hair attractive, if there was just one thing, well, there's two, right? Just in cases your bottom 20 percenter, make sure your hair is like clean and stuff. Make sure it doesn't have like fucking doo-doo in it or something. Some guys need to hear this, honestly, like probably not you because you're already on self-improvement, but some guys are gross. And so that's the first key is just, okay, have a shower. <laughs> but then after after that, most guys, probably 60, 70% of guys, could get an instant boost in their attractiveness with one quick tip. It costs like maybe $5 and it'll last literally for months. Go to a store and buy any kind of hair product. You need to find the one that fits for you, but what a hair product does, whether it's called like gel or wax or like pomade or some shit, you know, you just go to like the men's hair section in a shop. You'll be able to find it right when you do go. What it does, you put it onto your fingers, you mix it around, and then it's got like this kind of like hearty texture that when you put it into your hair, you can now control how your hair stays. A lot of guys didn't know this and I personally didn't 
know this. So I used to go to school. I'm not even joking, right? I've never told this story before. But before school or college, you know, I'd look at myself in the mirror and I wanted to style my hair and I didn't realize that you use a product for this. My hair like normally didn't look so good. So what I would do is I'd wet my hands with water, style my hair and it'd look kind of nice and then go to school expecting it to stay like that. You know, I'd be in class and stuff forever. Then I'd go to the toilet and I'd be like, <gasps> And my hair looks like shit because it's not styled. I've only put water in it with, and obviously it dries out. Like but every time I go to the toilet, wet my hands. Oh, and it, that would probably last literally like five minutes, barely. And then it just goes back. You need to use some kind of product. The one that I use is VO5 clay, something like that. It doesn't even matter which one I use. If I was you, and you might be annoyed because this is going to cost you maybe like $20. But if I was you, I would go to the men's hair section and I would buy like four different ones. There's a gel, there's a wax, there's this one, there's this one. Four completely different ones. Go home, try one on, see how it feels, see how it looks. Take a shower, clean it all off, try Another one. You do this once and you spend $20 and you spend like half an hour just seeing which one. You literally know which product to use for the rest of your life. Like I did this once five years ago and I literally always buy the same one. No matter which country I'm in, I'll always go and find the same product and it literally works amazingly for me. So I never have like this decision fatigue of thinking like, which one should I buy? Which one should I buy? Like, this one, this gel is, this gel's too white. You know, I never have that anymore. By styling your hair, trust me when I say like this alone could probably even get you one point out of 10. But if you're like younger me, you might be listening to this right now and cringing and thinking like, wait, this is all gay. Why I want to style my hair, that's gay. I used to think that, right? I used to think like, no, it's gay, it's for girls and stuff. Why would I do that? I then realized, I put two and two together. Then I thought, okay, how am I seeing improving my hair as gay as a bad thing when that would improve my attractiveness and that would get me more girls? Once I connected the dots and I was like, oh yeah, like then it can't be gay, it can't be bad because I want to get bitches, bro. I'm horny as fuck, bro. So I was like, okay, go on. That was what convinced me because before this, I had kind of that sort of, you know, masculine locker room kind of thing of like, oh yeah, that, you know, why would you style your hair? It doesn't make any sense. But this is how I was able to convert into this idea. And since then, it's like, I can't imagine not putting like stuff into my hair. Obviously, again, my hair's really short right now, but I can't imagine like not putting stuff into my hair and not styling it. It's like you instantly just look better. You look way groomed. If you've got slightly longer hair than mine, if you're not putting something in it in the morning, I promise you it's not going to look good. Most guys, if you just wake up and maybe if you just take a shower or something, and some guys don't even take a shower and you just step out the door, your hair isn't as attractive as it could be. And you don't even realize just how much this actually improves your attractiveness. And if we want to test this, go and look at every single celebrity, every male influencer, every YouTuber, every guy who's in the public light style hair every single one of them even the guys who have messy hair have meticulously styled it like that you will never see a guy who's in the public light who's you know quite famous or something who's going out with like bed hair unless the only times you do see this sometimes and when is it when like their life has been fucked and they've got a dui for like running over a family or some shit now they're going to court and you see like a bad picture of a celebrity and shit that's what your hair looks like bro you walk into school or into work looking like these celebrities like mugshot after like they have to go to court and shit man and in terms of actually getting the product and styling your hair i watched a bunch of like random YouTube tutorials and none of them even helped me. They were all just overcomplicated the process. I wanted like the brain dead easy way. So this is literally what you do, right? You go to the shop, you know, buy the thing, right? Either it's gel, wax, it doesn't matter. Buy it, put it onto this, mix it a little bit like this and literally just style your hair how you normally would like want to make it look good. Usually for most guys, if you've got like short to medium hair, you literally just style it and push it into one direction like this. So you put it onto your things like this, like push down like the little sides a bit, you know, there's a bit sticking up there. So you push that down. When you have this stuff in your hands, you can literally like decide, you know, which part of your hair is where. So it's like nice and boom, it's looking good. The second way to instantly improve your looks is with what you wear. Now, most guys aren't on my level. So I wear a bathrobe everywhere, even when I'm going to the gym, even when I'm in business meetings. And so obviously you can't really compete with this level of attire. But if you did want to wear a bathrobe, then obviously, you become a 10 straight away. No. <laughs> my fashion sense was bad because it was aligned with my views on hair, which was like, wait, why would I buy new clothes? That's gay and it's expensive. So I used to think these things when I was 15, 16. And truthfully, I was deeply insecure because I would say these things, like I would say these in my mind or, you know, I would just never go shopping. I had these beliefs, right? And yet in my mind, honestly, I'd be admiring like the attractive guy who looked good, who had good hair, who had good fashion, who was wearing good clean clothes. And I'd be sat there with like the creased shirt that was in the bottom of my wardrobe. You're know, like the pile in your fucking wardrobe. Like there's a few things hung up and then there's just the pile. And like I pick out a shirt there that usually looks good. It's creased, but I don't even realize. And you're just not presenting your best self to the world. Do you think the men you look up to are not thinking about what they were? You think Tristan Tate or Andrew Tate are waking up, going to the wardrobe, seeing the big pile on the floor and rooting through it for like a little shitty, like creased, crunchy shirt. Obviously not. You've got to care about how you dress. And a lot of guys just don't because we just don't know what the fuck to do, honestly, because no one's actually told you, you know, your mum bought you some shitty clothes that you didn't even look good in. That your like pudgy little fat titties, man titties, and like your lower belly fat was sticking out of your skinny arms and stuff. And so you've never been able to really like what to buy. So this is what you do. Hopefully you've already been going to the gym for a little bit and you've been building some muscle and reducing your body fat. The best way to look good in clothes is actually to look good naked first. So what you need to do for the long term, right? I'm just going to briefly say is build an aesthetic 
basic body, you need to do the kind of workouts that literally build your body to look good. I've linked seven free workouts in the description of this video. Next, you need to go shopping for clothes that look good. And I'm just going to tell you the truth. I mostly just wear gym clothes everywhere. You want to find your style. So some guys really like dressing professionally. You see like the Tate and you know, these professional men, they literally seem to wear a suit like everywhere. Like they're in the gym wearing a suit and shit. There's other guys who wear like smart casual. My friend Sam wears college shirts with like smarter jeans and everything. Here's the thing about improving how you dress. You don't have to change the kind of things that you wear. You just have to wear the better of the same thing. So for example, if you are someone who totally relates and totally desires to dress smart and you want to wear shirts and tucked in pants and stuff, then find a way to get closer and closer to your ideal like fashion sense. So you take a picture of the best guy that you see. So you go Google Tristan Tate suits and you start to take inspiration from like the things that he's got there. And the best thing that you can do is try and buy the exact same kind of set or color or style. But you see, that's if you actually like that style already, because here's the issue with a guy like me and maybe like you. When I was growing up and I really wanted to improve how I dressed and I would search online, all of these guys with skinny necks who don't even go to the gym were given this advice of like, oh yeah, just go to this shop and just buy like seven pairs of chinos and buy like this checkered shirt and tuck it in and stuff. And what was happening was that most people were giving advice for their fashion sense and not for yours. So by taking a random person's advice online, you'll end up looking and feeling weird because you're not supposed to be the kind of guy who wears those kinds of clothing. So for me personally, the thing is I might look good in a suit, but I don't want to wear one. I might look good wearing smart clothes tucked in chino. I might look good like that, but guess what? I don't want to wear one, bro. I don't like it. There's other guys who really like that. They should do that. But for me, I like wearing gym clothes. So first of all, step one of improving, well, step zero is first go to the gym and at least don't be fat. Try and reduce your body fat. That's like the long term thing. Step one is to choose and to figure out what kind of clothes you actually like. Because if you like and feel good wearing the smart kind of clothes, then maybe you want to do that. If you like and feeling good wearing more of the comfy casual clothes, you still want to do that. That's still step one, right? But then step two is once you've defined which kind of clothing you like, we need to find the best kind of clothing in that category. Because because for my life, I've always wanted like, you know, comfy or casual clothes. And yet I was always wearing like the shit version of these. I was always wearing like these shit random brands that you buy for like five pounds and as there, it just doesn't look good or anything. It's not like tapered down correctly. I was buying like these weirdly like thin, no style whatsoever, like jogger pants, which just left like a fucking ugly ass dick print in them and everything. <laughs> So then what I did to improve my fashion sense, I knew, okay, I like wearing gym clothes. You go to the best gym clothing store that there are around, or, you know, if you really like wearing smart clothes and you go to those clothes and you go try on a bunch of things. And the best advice I can give you that really improved my look is that you want to find sets that go together. A set means like pants and shirt, right? It's always better to wear the same ones. So you get a set, which is like black night shorts and black night shirt. It's together. You buy that and you look so much better than buying like a random one and a random one and a random one and a random one. So this is exactly what I would do if I was starting again. And I'm actually going to do this soon. Save up a little bit of budget, right? Obviously it's dependent. For me, the budget might be a few hundred pounds. For you, it might be 25 pounds, right? Go to the store that you can afford that has the kind of style of clothes that you like. Try on a bunch of things and the best thing you can do, pick out the pre-made set of the outfit and buy like five of them, seven of them. Not the same one if you want, but like, so for example, I buy this, you know, Black Knight shorts, shirt. Then I buy another one. This is like a gray Under Armour hoodie and pants, for example, and you buy them. And then when I'm going to the gym or I'm doing anything else, I'd always just wear the same set over and over again. And you look so much better. And the same with, for example, a suit or some smart clothing. You could do some mix and matching if you want. But the best look really comes is when you get the suit together. You get the pants that goes with the blazer, that goes with the shirt, and then you wear that look whenever it's applicable for the environment that you're going in. Because for the longest time in my own personal like fashion journey, I literally just got the clothes like, you know, my mum bought. I bought some random clothes here, some random t-shirt here, some random pants here. And I wore individual clothing that I thought was nice. So for example, I wore the same jeans that I always wear. Then I wore a shirt that I liked. And then the next day I wore some shorts that I like. And then I wore a shirt with it, which I liked. Liked, and it was always mixed and matched and it always just didn't really look like it went together up until I discovered this concept of like buying a set and wearing that. And it's like since then, since my like college years and university years, since I've started doing this and I just wear like the same kind of like double clothing, you know, pant shirt that's been made to go together. I think I look a lot better so you can implement that. Bro, posture check. This is you right now, bro. Posture check. And that is actually the third way to instantly improve your looks, fix your posture. This I can just go over very, very quickly because so many guys have made videos on this. I've made a bunch of videos on body language and posture. If you have the posture of a beta male, of a weak man, of a slouched man, people are gonna treat you like that. To instantly improve your attractiveness, literally just straighten it up. And this is the rule that I followed for so long that I'm just gonna leave you with. Your posture and your body language should be so straight and confident that you actually get some like negative thoughts about it thinking that you're doing too much. That shows that you've actually improved it enough because our posture, you know, our modern posture, even if you're not someone who's got like an extreme like forward neck or anything, our modern posture is so shit that once you have good posture, it actually feels a little bit abnormal, but that is actually the good level to be on. Even if you might think, oh, that dickhead from school or from your workplace who bullies you, who's not even a friend, who, you know, he might make 
front of you like you're sitting up straight it's like who gives a fuck bro he's gonna make fun of you anyway right so at that point it's like just by sitting up straight and by you know walking straight with your chest out like you walk in with your chest first with your chin a little bit higher with your shoulders back you want it to feel a little bit fake a little bit forced a little bit too far and that is the correct level to hold click and watch this video right now do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.